Hello, what is going on today? We are going to be talking about how to travel Cambodia, one of our favourite countries in Southeast Asia. Had some of the best times there. Cambodia is filled with the most amazingly friendly people and we loved it so, so much. We're going to get into it now. We're going to cover in the route, the money, the budget you're going to be spending, accommodation and transport and then also some overall tips you're going to probably need when you're out there. So let's jump straight into it. The route we've done. So we started off in Phnom Penh, Chinookville, Koh Rong and then Siem Reap. Now we're going to go into more detail in each of the destinations. Phnom Penh, I think it's a place where you will either love it or you'll hate it. For us, we loved it. It was a great introduction to Cambodia and it was a city filled with chaos and excitement. So during our time in Phnom Penh, we visited the Animal Wildlife Sanctuary and most importantly, the Killing Fields and the Genocide Museum. It was the most eye-opening thing we've done in our whole trip. So after our time was up in Phnom Penh, we then got on a six hour bus ride to Chinookville where we stayed for a few more days. In Chinookville, it was very chilled out, a lot of beaches, and we spent our days pretty much chilling out on the beaches, watching, watching the, the sunsets. Sunset. <laughs> the main reason we went to Chinookville was because we were going to the island named Koh Rong. We went to the Lonely Beach, which is much more secluded. There was only 14 bungalows on the island, I believe. Yeah, there was 14 bungalows, crystal clear seas. Um, it's something that you probably haven't experienced before, so electricity cuts out at a certain yeah. time. You have to shower and there's only bucket. One, there's only one plug on the whole island, so you couldn't charge your phones up. No internet, no anything, anything like that. No lights, so you just have to have a torch. So if you are going to be going to Cambodia, go to Lonely Beach in Koh Rong. And it's one of the most amazing experiences of our life. We did spend our seven year anniversary in Koh Rong. So if you want to watch the full video, then it, the link is in the description. So last stop was Siem Reap. This is the main hub of tourism. This was a great way to say goodbye to Cambodia and it was completely different to Phnom Penh. In Siem Reap, we didn't actually go to Angle Wat, believe it or not. Everyone says you have to go, it wasn't our thing, but however in Siem Reap we did shoot guns, we got some AK-47s mm -hmm. out, and best of all we got to experience a Khmer New Year, the party on the street was insane, there was like massive water fights, powder getting thrown everywhere, if you are going to be going to Cambodia, aim to be there for the dates of the Khmer New Year, and you'll have the most amazing time of your life. And another thing about Cambodia is, they have these places called ecstatic pizza, and basically it's just pizza with weed on it, and... Yeah, if you want to get high, basically eat a pizza and you'll be pretty high. We did actually do it and it was a great time. Um, if you want to go for it, I'd say do it. So that was our route for Cambodia. There is a lot more you can see there. However, we done sort of longer periods in each destination, so we, our time was up. Um, however, Cambodia, beautiful place. So next up, we are going to be talking about the money slash budget. So Cambodia was probably the most expensive country out of the whole of Southeast Asia and this is due to everything being in dollars. So our budget was £35 each per day which is pretty reasonable but I think you could do it on £25 a day. So for the accommodation it's still very cheap there. We had a budget of £20 a night so £10 each. There are many more cheaper places you can stay at maybe £5, £6 so don't think you have to spend £20 a night you can get it very cheap. You'll be able to find street food one to two dollars. I wasn't that much of a fan of Cambodian food, so we went to restaurants most of the time. A typical meal at a restaurant will cost you around four to five dollars, so you can see how your bill will rank up if you yeah. eat at restaurants all the time. I think food will probably be your biggest expense in Cambodia. So getting around Cambodia, be prepared for long, long bus rides and coach journeys. They're very cheap though, don't worry, they're about five to ten dollars, easy to book and you can book for your hotels, local little travel agents. Two of the most popular companies used in Cambodia are Mekong Express and Ibis. Both are really comfortable yeah. rides. They've got aircon, they give you free water, pick you up from your hotel. And one tip I'm gonna say for the coach journey, don't try and be smart like me and me and sit at the back of the coach <laughs> because the engine gets hot and after after like two, three hours of the engine continuing, you, you, will, you will literally roast with a 40 degree heat as well. You're gonna melt at the back of the bus. So when you're getting around your local town in Cambodia, the most common use is tuk-tuks and mopeds. However, we didn't take them out. With tuk-tuks, they're really friendly, the drivers. Yeah. And they're always gonna try and get more dollars out of you. Always. But always split it in half and just bargain. But you'll have fun on tuk-tuks. They are the best way to get around. So now we're just gonna give you some overall tips on which we think are gonna come in handy when you travel around Cambodia and also just Asia in general. So tip number one, if you are gonna be getting in tuk-tuks, 
you know you're roughly going, ask your hotel before you get in it and say how much is it roughly going to be, they'll give you a price and then you can work with that with the tuk tuk driver. Tip number two, drinks in Cambodia are actually really expensive, a bottle of water is one dollar, that could rank up your bill. The food and drinks in supermarkets are really really expensive. Tip number three, when you're entering Cambodia make sure you have $35 on you ready to pay for your visa and a passport picture as well, they're going to require that. Tip number four, if you are going to be going to some of the most famous temples such as Angle Wat, apparently they do get extremely busy. Ask around because the people said some of the tuk tuk drivers know special places where it's not going to be as busy. Try and get there early as well and try and get ahead of the crowds because it will get extremely busy. Like ridiculously busy. Tip number five. So when arranging a day out, whether it be the Killing Fields, Angle what, you will normally arrange a set price for a Tuk Tuk to bring you there and bring you back. And they will wait for you however yeah. long you are. Like We were like three hours in a Killing Fields and he did wait for us in yeah. the heat. You might be able to get it cheaper that way as well, rather than spending, for example, $10 to get somewhere and then $10 back, you might get it for $15 there and back. Tip number six, this relates to Tuk Tuks as well. Ask around different tuk tuk drivers because someone will say $15 but someone else might say $5. They're always going to try their luck. So do ask around, try and get different prices, especially when going to destinations such as Angle Wat or shooting guns. Tip number seven, when withdrawing money out of the ATM machines, it is really expensive. I think it was like $4 per transaction. Mm -hmm. So take out a week's worth of money to decrease your fees. Tip number eight, if you are going to be shooting guns out there in Cambodia, you are allowed. So if you do want to do it, just go up to a tuk tuk driver and say you want to go shoot some guns and they'll drive you there. It was safe, it wasn't like all sketchy like we thought it was going to be and it was, a, it was like a mad experience. So if you want to do that, I'd say go for it. Tip number nine, I would say if you are going to be in Cambodia, try and be there for the Khmer New Year and you will have the best time of your life. It's just one of those experiences you'll always hold for the rest of your life. So try and be there for the Khmer New Year. So tip number 10, again this is to do with money, I would say when you're going out, bring a certain amount of money out with you that you're only going to spend on that day. As Cambodia is dollars, it's all going to add up quickly. As Mia said, the drinks are one dollar each, so before you know it, you're going to be spending a lot of money here and there, and it will add up like that. So if you have a certain little budget for that day, you won't be willing to spend over, whereas the other countries you can sort of get away with because they're a lot cheaper. So thank you for watching our How to Travel Cambodia video. We hope we helped you out on this video. Most importantly, have fun. You are going to have the time of your life in Cambodia. Also, if you're planning a trip around Southeast Asia, we have done a video on how to travel Southeast Asia, like an overview of the countries we went to. We went to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines and Indonesia. And also we're going to be doing individual videos on each of those countries if you're looking to go to those countries. Whilst we were backpacking Asia, we also created daily vlogs. So if you want to see more in detail about what Cambodia was like, then check out the link in the description. And also one more thing. we. We do have a website as well where we're going to be breaking down a lot more information and detail on the countries we went to and finally if you have any questions or you want to know anything please hit us up on social media twitter instagram snapchat or facebook it's all at me and my missus or just comment below and we'll be willing to help you thank you for watching thank you for watching we hope you have a sick time in cambodia you're going to love it we're going to be jealous so have a great time